What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to add a gallery on Wix.com. So here I am in a blank spot of my website and I want to add a gallery. So I'm going to come over here to the left and click add. And you can see the third option is gallery. So if I click that, um, you can see I have a ton of different layouts to choose from. So if I scroll down, you can see all the different kinds. We got grid layouts here, we got slider galleries, um, some more unique galleries um, like that honeycomb. And uh, you just want to go ahead and pick one of those. I'm just going to go ahead for this first one, Grid Pro Gallery. And I'm just going to click that to add it. You can see it added the gallery to the blank space I'm working in. And we have these anchor points here where we can change the size of it. So if I expand it out, it will get bigger. Or I can make it a little smaller. And then if I drag it around, I can wait for that pink line to show up to center it or set it up however I want. If I come here to this button, um, this is the stretch button, and I click that, I can stretch it to the full width. Uh, but obviously for this gallery, I wouldn't want to do that, so I'm just going to uncheck that. If I come here to settings then, this is where I can customize this whole gallery um, and choose my images. So the first thing here is in main is manage media. You also have a manage media button up here next to settings, but it's also in settings. So if we click that, you can see these are the default Wix images in the gallery. But if we come here to add media, we can go and add our own images. So if I go to image, I already have some stuff uploaded here, but you can come up here to this button, click that and upload your own images. I'm gonna go ahead and select my wolf and add that and you can see it just adds it along with the Wix images. So you can come here and click the little trash can to remove any images you don't want. Um, so maybe I don't want a few of these. I can just simply click the trash can and delete them. Um, you also might want to add a title to your images that you add and a description but that's up to you. You can also go and link your images to other destinations. Um, so if I click link here, you can see I can link it to another page, uh, web address, email, phone number, document, um, the top or bottom of the page, whatever, and you can choose whether to open it in a new or current window. I'm not going to be doing that, but uh, once you have your images, you want to go ahead and click done. Then you can see the second option here is layout. So if you pick this one gallery and you don't like it, um, you can go ahead and choose from any of these other options or any of these styles. Um, you can also change the scroll direction in this particular one of vertical or horizontal. Um, so if I go horizontal, you can see it changes that a little bit. Um, but I think I like vertical better for that. And then you can, um, depending on the gallery you choose, you'll have a, uh, different options here. So these are just the ones that pertain to my gallery that I chose. Um, you can see the title position can be on hover or underneath. Um, you can see it'll just put it underneath as a default. I believe that text is white though, so you can't see that right now. But we'll just do it on hover. You can resize the thumbnails to fit or crop. Right now they're cropped so they fit in these nice squares. You can choose the ratio that they're cropped to. So maybe I want them a little thinner. I could go 3-4. Uh, but I think a 1-1 one to one is pretty good. Maybe a 4-3 to three, since I have wider images. That's not too bad either. How should it look? You can fit it to screen. Or you can just set items per row. And then you can change the amount per row. So I could do four, but I think three is the best bet. You can also choose the spacing in between the images. And if you have more images than what appear in your box, you can choose a load more button. So when the user clicks that, it will load the rest of your images, but obviously all my images are visible here, so I wouldn't need that. If you come to settings then, you can play around with a few more things. So when you click on an image, you can have it um, expand, uh, open in a new tab, or just nothing happen. You can add a download button if you're sharing your image and you're okay with other people downloading it. Um, you can't have users download Wix images, however. And you can also add a social sharing button if you want people to be able to share these easily on social media. And you can also add a heart counter. So this is like a like button. So people can like your images. And also you can add a counter so that number will be displayed. 
In design, you can kind of get a little more customizable, um, add backgrounds and things to it, um, or change the text and how that's set up. I'm gonna leave it alone, but you can also click here at Customize Expand Mode. So when you click an image, um, what it looks like, this is something you might wanna um, play around with. Uh, maybe you don't want a link. Um, you could also not want a description. Maybe you do want a description and you can add an info icon or a uh, the info next to the image allow for full screen you can loop images and you can play around with the colors the text text alignment so this is the left right now you can make that centered or to the right um, and then you can play around with that obviously it's being previewed here to the left so you can see immediately how that would look but i'm gonna just roll with the default and click done down here in advanced, you can see there's a little more settings. So image quality right now is at 90. Um, image sharpening isn't checked, but if you were to check that and increase the amount, that'll just uh, make the images a little clearer. Um, now, depending on the images, that might make it worse, that might make it better, it all depends. You'll notice if I bump the radius up, you can see they get a little out of hand. So that's not something you'd wanna play with. Um, but depending on the images you use, um, this is something you might want to play around with. Also, there's a threshold option there. Um, you can change your video settings. I don't have any video, so this won't apply to me, but you can make it autoplay, uh, play on hover or on click, play with sound, playback speed normal, or you can change the speed to speed it up, and you can select the option to loop your videos. But that's basically how to add a gallery, guys. This is the preview of my gallery. You can see I have a like button. If I click an image, I get it like this, and then I have the option to scroll through. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.